Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Holland's Classroom, where today we're going to be doing my math, chapter two, lesson four. We are focusing on number nine. So if you're in your math books, you're on pages 111 to 116. If you don't have those yet, pause the video and go get them. And also get a pencil. But for those of you who are ready, let's get to this. So our essential question is, what do numbers tell me? This is our problem of the day. So let's look at the bears. It says to use counters to show how many. Fine, I'll use counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how many bears. And now it says to write the number. So that way we can actually read how many bears there are. And so to write this number, we start like this. Down and around and curl it up. Down and around and curl it up. Down and around and curl it up. I am number six. It almost kind of looks like you're going to make a zero. But then instead you make like a smaller zero at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but that's what it looks like to me. So moving on. Oh, yeah, they got a number six there. Cool. It says use objects to show number nine. So count the mice. Place an object into the 10 frame for each mouse. So actually, let's do that. Let's get, I'm going to get the counters again. I'm going to use blue. So I need to count. Let's see. One. Two, three. Uh oh, I'm losing track. Oh no, what do I do? Oh yeah, I forgot. One of my strategies that I use to remember how many that I have is by striking through the picture so I can count it and not get lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Let me count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That way I know how many counters I need to fill and I don't get lost. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay, and then this one's empty because I didn't need it. So that is my strategy to show the number. Now, the number nine, how do we write that one? Well, it doesn't say how to write it yet, but it says count out loud as you place the objects. How many are there in all? Another thing that you can do is, and I won't do the whole thing, but what you can do is you can take the counters and you could just start by putting them one on top of each object. And then when you get done, you can take that amount of objects and put them in the squares. You see how I'm doing that? Okay. Let's move on to the next page. Can you find nine of any objects in the classroom? How do you know there are nine objects? Huh. So for me, one thing I can check off the top of my head is I have some markers here and I can count the markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I have, I have more than nine, but I do have nine markers in my classroom. I know that there are nine because I counted them one at a time. Look at that. All done. Oh, so this is the first page of your uh, math book. So this is page 111. And it, so what they want you to do is they want you to do kind of what I did with the mice. You count the objects and then you fill up this. What's this thing called? It's called a 10 frame. That's not one. Why is it called a 10 frame? Well, that's very simple because it's a frame that has 10 in it. Don't believe me? I'm going to show you. So I'm going to use these counting blocks, and I'll use the red ones because those look like red birds. So just like I said before, I'm going to put one for each thing. So one bird, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay, see? So I have enough blocks for each bird. And I'm going to just put those blocks down here. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, they're all stuck together. Look at that. Ooh, cool. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I have all nine here, but as you notice, there's one missing. But if I had one more, it would be 10, 9, 10. That's why they call it a 10 frame. But remember, there's no 10 birds here, so we're just, we're going to get rid of that one. Move on to the next one. Boom. All right. Okay, so this is your guide to practice, uh, the first one. So there looks to be, I'm going to get my pencil out. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine birds, and it looks like they've already colored in nine blocks. But did you notice that they used two colors? The reason why they did this is because they knew that they had at least one full row here on the 10 frame. So they filled this row with one color, and then they used the other color um, to fill in each space. So they have five six, seven, eight, nine. So they knew they were going to fill this up all the way, so they didn't color it all in. They used a different color, and they colored one at a time. Let's see what else they did. Okay, so this one uh, looks like a bird's nest, but it also kind of looks like a hot dog. But maybe that's just because I'm hungry. I think there's a bird's nest because we were talking about birds. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to use my tool here, and I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so they're asking to use the colors again to do the same thing. But before I do that, I'm going to just check each box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know I'm going to have to fill this top row up with one color. Um, and then the bottom row, I won't be able to fill up the whole thing. So I'll have to use a different color. So I'm just going to use this to color in the top very carefully. And then the bottom one, I'm going to do one at a time. One, two, three, four here at the bottom. So I have five six, seven, eight, nine. Good. And then afterwards, you can make dress it up real pretty like I'm about to do right now. Okay, moving on to the next one. I think you guys get the point. You guys, you guys get the point. I don't need to do this one with you because you already know what I'm going to do. You know I'm going to take my pencil out and count each one. Then you know that I'm going to take my pencil and then dot in each box so that I know what boxes I need to fill. And then you know that I'm going to take my colors and then I'm going to fill the top row with one color and then I'm going to fill the bottom row and do it one at a time so that I know where to stop and I don't color in the whole thing because we're of course we're talking about number nine. You already know all that. So when you actually get to the homework part, which you're about to right now, you're going to be able to do it just like that, right? <laughs> All right. I hope that that was helpful for you guys. Uh, this says, what do you notice about filling the 10 frame each time we learn a new larger number? Well, the only thing that I notice is that it keeps getting filled up. Oh, that's the point. The more numbers we know, the more squares we fill in and the higher it goes. Awesome. Well, I that's all for today. So I hope you guys do a great job on your homework. And as always, if you get a little confused, you can always go back and rewatch this video to get some extra help. But until next time, I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.